Alrighty. Last time we looked at Combat Toyota's retirement match. This time we're going to look at Megumi Kudo's retirement match. This match between Megumi Kudo and Shark Tsushia. And I need, <laughs> I need to get the full title of this match. <clears throat> this is a no ropes, 200 volt, double hell, double barbed wire, barricade, double landmine, glass crush death match. Yep. That's the sentence that I just said. <laughs> um, how does this match work? Well, barbed wire, explosions, lots of it, pain. Um, I, mean, I also noticed that my channel's undergone a rebranding, I changed the name uh, to Smarcus Aurelius. Um, I felt like a, a name that was relevant to wrestling uh, was good. Uh, it's, it makes me laugh. <laughs> Because I'd love to also um, talk about other things besides wrestling, like philosophy, perhaps, or um, talk about the history of wrestling. I think that makes sense, you know. But anyway, enough about me. This is Megumi Kudo, who, uh, if you've seen the last match I did the commentary for, was her in Combat Toyota in Toyota's retirement match. This was two years later in um, Megumi Kudo's retirement match. And as I went over in that video, you know, been wrestling since the mid 80s at this point i think this was 1997 um yeah april 29th 1997 so yeah this is almost two years since combat to Hurt's right match so kudos are a legend at this point almost uh very well respected and i guess at this point in time she's decided to call it quits here um, but much like Combat Toyota, she wants to go out and have an absolute banger of a final match. And she's going to wrestle Shark to cheer. And Shark is, um, she is an incredible talent as well. Uh, I believe she's a former uh, tag team partner of Combat Toyota at various points. She has like that similar... Like, look of, like, the short hair, the face paint, like, you'll see why they call her Shark in just a moment. Um, but unlike Kudo and Toyota, here you go, <laughs> she didn't train in, uh, AJW. She was trained in the FMW Dojo by Tarzan Goto. Um, and she sort of came in in, in 1989. And uh, similar to Combatur, she's you know he's big. She's got a lot of good power moves. She's a champion heading into this match too as well. And she won those titles from uh, Megumi Kudo actually. The uh, WWA title and the FNW women's title has sort of been kind of unofficially unified at this point. They've been defended together a whole bunch. Um, these two do have a history together. Uh, Shark has been sort of like the top heel of FMW for quite a while. Um, and Kudo is like the baby face. Everyone loves her. And yeah, this, this match type, I mean, you can see that two sides of the ring don't have anything on them. Um, they call that the barbed wire hell because just off the side of the apron is a bed of barbed wire. So if you get whipped to that side, well, the sides with the barbed wire, you just hit the barbed wire wall there, which hurts and explodes. But if you get thrown off the side without the ropes, um, you land on a bed of barbed wire which also explodes. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> Explosions will occur. Um, and if you thought the last match was brutal, 
You got another thing coming, I tell ya. The true queen of the death match, Megumi Kudo. The ring looks strange when there's just nothing on it, doesn't it? Shark to cheer. Champion heading into this. Looking to give Kudo a great retirement match. Will she emerge victorious or will Kudo be stuck looking at the lights? Ooh, look at Kudo's gear here. Fully white. It's unlike the, the pink she usually wears, but, it's, but she's still got the one leg approach going on. Some Zack Ryder vibes. A tie up. Larger of the two. Shark is now pushing Kudo toward the barbed wire. Kudo getting control, gets shoved off onto her back. They circle. And of a tie up again. Oh, Shark gonna try and force it with the barbed wire again. She's in control here. Kudo desperately trying to fight back. The crisscrossing barbed wire, look at it. Sharp, deadly, now here comes some strikes from Megumi Kudo. Side headlock. There's a lot of this uh, trying to force each other toward that barbed wire. Uh, modified back suplex, Santa shooting for a takedown. Both on the ground, Kudo in the top guard position. Roll over, full mount now from Shark. Oh, another roll over. Can't fight! <laughs> as Joey Styles would say, as he gets close to that edge there. Remember, below them is barbed wire. There it is. I believe it's hooked up to. Was it 200 volts? So you don't want to fall on that. And Kudo grabbing the ring apron, trying to desperately prevent herself from falling into that tangled mess of barbed wire. Oh, that. Look at the hair dangling, dangling down there. Ooh, there's some kicks. And I said it was two years after the combat Twitter match. This is actually one year after, my, my mistake. Because this is the 8th anniversary show. Last year's was the 7th anniversary show. And the opponents circling each other again. And uh, if you did watch The Dark Side of the Ring on FMW, you might remember um, Cactus Jack talking about the finish of this match and uh, how he had to sort of go on after this. Uh, this, was, <laughs> this was the main event, so... Uh, <laughs> you know, he couldn't have gone on after. But Cactus Jack misremembering things, very common. Read his book. You'll see. The amount of times he describes FNW matches that just didn't happen or had people that weren't in there is insane. But Kudo going to try and use her feet to kick Shark off the edge. Oh, oh, no. Running, oh, baseball slide. You can see Shark dangling. And Shark trying to, oh no, sorry, Kudo trying to roll Shark off the side here. Just look at all that barbed wire. It's just a tangled mess. Truly really terrifying. And Kudo trying to use all the strength that she has to force Chia to fall into the double hell. Oh, so Chia grabs an ankle. Her back on top again. Bringing the martial arts aspect of Frontier Martial Arts Wrestling here. She stands. Got a hold of the hair of Kudo. Spins her around. What has she got planned here? Oh, trying to force her toward the barbed wire again. Very close on that one. Oh, a kick. Oh, look at that Kudo. Falling. And almost hitting it. Another Irish whip. And oh, Kudo collides with the barbed wire. There's the first explosion of the match. Huge collision. 
前回川崎球場でやった時と違って、はい、あの室内でやりましたよね、はい、横浜。Hitting that wall with barbed wire. That does not tickle. Now laying in strikes. Sharp Tuchia in control here. You can see how that hit on the barbed wire has just completely changed the tide of the match. And Shark. Ooh, nice strike to the back. Oh, and Kudo just dropping straight to the ground. Tuchia driving the foot into the midsection. You can break those ribs. And another stiff stomp there. And again. Oh no. What on earth has Tsuchiya got planned here? I saw her eye up the edge. And Kudo crawling to the middle of the ring, which is a smart thing. You get away from the edge. Safe place to be or a big punch. Oh. Oh, sidewalk slam from Tachia. Into the pin. Center of the ring could have it here. No. Making me could have with the shoulder up. Tachia, another stop to the back. And a kick to the side of the head. Keeping up those strikes. Tachia charging, gets the leg caught. Back and screw. Finna sneeze. <laughs> there we go. Oh, ducking with the clothesline now. So Chia going to try and go for the backdrop driver, perhaps. Oh, shoving her toward the rope. She's still got her hooked. Up into the air. Oh, landing on her feet. Cat-like reflexes now going behind. Going to try and go for a suplex on Shark to Chia. To Chia going behind. Shoves Kudo face first into the barbed wire. Setting off the other explosion. Kudo crashes frontward into it, which you don't see very often. The fans booing. The villainous shark. What has she got in her hand? Is that a is that a spike? I think it is. Um, what is that? Oh, it's a, oh my god! It's like a scythe. She's carving away at Kudo's forehead. And obviously, you know, if we can't disqualify her, it's a fucking death match, but oh my god. And Kudo, I mean, I can't see, but that looked tough. It's like a little scythe. And she's going at it again! Oh, you can, it, oh yeah, it's cut her open. Kudo bleeding. She's really digging it in, too. Oh, Suchia is sadistic with this assault here. Almost like he's taking pleasure from this. Oh my god, now she's going to go on top here, and you can just see she's carving it. Carving up Kudo's skull like a pumpkin on Halloween. Oh, I see the blood now just pouring from the head of Megumi Kudo. Look, oh my god, she's just, she's just drilling that into her forehead. It's hard to see on the, the quality of the video, but it, that is like... Just, oh my goodness, look at Kudo's face. The crimson mask. Now she's just straight up swinging it. Like a bludgeon. Oh, but Kudo fighting back. The weapon has been dropped now. Back and forth. Kudo charge. Oh, big forearm. Knocking Shark off her feet. There's some fire in her. Oh, kick to the midsection. As Kudo is going to try and use the scythe. Oh, but now, oh no, now Shark's got it back. And again, again digging at the forehead. With that scythe. Just carving up the top of the head, really opening up, and look at look at the blood on Kudo's face. And now she, oh, she's going to use the chain to choke. Oh my god, she's strangling Kudo with that chain. The chain attached to it. 
She is strangling Megumi Kudo, the life out of Megumi Kudo here. Now just dragging around like a collared animal. This is a brutal destruction here from Shark Tsuchiya. And I'm afraid we're going to check it. If, if Kodo passes out, that's it. And it looks like she might be here. The life looks to be fading from the eyes of Megumi Kudo. And this, like I said, this is a retirement match. So this, this could be it. Not only for the match, but for the career. Of, oh god, she just... I don't know if you've ever seen a, a dog when it has a an animal in its jaws and it just whips its head back around and snaps its neck. That's what that looks like. Like a dog just sort of trying to kill its prey quickly. Chain around the throat still. Oh my god. Throws Kudo, Kudo counters and oh my god! Kudo countered and used uh, inertia to th launch Shark Tsuchiya off the ring onto the barbed wire hell down below, setting the explosion off. I see uh, Shark was going to try and throw her by the throat. And Kudo managed to use momentum to. Oh, and look, look at Shark. She is tangled in it. She is struggling to free herself from the prison of barbed wire. I'm free counting. And we're in Japan, it's a 20 count. She has a count of 20 to get back in the ring. Kudo's got to pull her back in the ring. Against her will. Kudo. Oh, voice in the air. Ooh, DDT! Come here, give me Kudo. Two and a kick out. And now double underhook going for that Tiger Driver, maybe. Saw her bust this out last time. Oh, spinning forearm counted. Beautiful bridging Northern Lights suplex. Kick out. Oh, now hoisting her high into the air. Oh, nice, beautiful roll through from Kudo. Amazing awareness there and then a kick out. Kick out from Shark Sushiya. Irish Whip Kudo gets sent. No spins around. Double underhook again. Tiger Driver! One, two, kick out from Shark Tsuchiya. Amazing Tiger Driver there. Going for the clothesline, missing again. Oh, big forearm, and she just falls into the pin. Two, no. A forearm into the pin combo. Now grabbing Tsuchiya by the hair. <gasps> She's going to go for the Kudo Driver. One of the most dangerous moves in all of pro wrestling gets shoved. Oh, ducking the clothesline now. Kudo charging forward. Tsuchiya catches her. Oh my god. Kudo, oh my god! Kudo just got power bombed off the, off the side onto the barbed wire board. And it looked like she almost landed head first. You see the smoke billowing out from the explosion. Holy hell, look at that. You can just see all the the points and the pricks on that barbed wire. As Kudo's hair's caught up in it. Oh my god. That looked nasty. You can see like the the, the fabric caught to that barbed wire. I, I've shown people death matches before and they go, is that barbed wire real? I mean, that, that should be indicative enough. And uh, the way she landed, it, that looked almost head first. Oh no, and Tsushia, if the neck wasn't through enough pain, there you go with a backdrop driver. We are seeing a destruction of Megumi Kudo. You can see the blood pouring from her face. He has taken some horrific punishment here. Hoisting up another backdrop driver. And neck must be sawdust by now. 
あえて自分の得意とする技でこう本当に一気に畳みかけてきて。はい、She, uh, not done yet. Oh my god, just like Dr. Death to Kensuko Bashi! Three backdrop drivers! That's what put away Kobashi, and it will put away Kudo here, no! How on earth did Megumi Kudo kick out of three backdrop drivers? And she got Palom off into the barbed wire board as well, mind you. So how on earth, oh my god, what on earth is she gonna do here, pile driver? And Kudo crumpling on impact, surely. No, Kudo's still fighting. We've learned from previous matches that she is an absolute warrior. She has so much heart. And Tsuchiya. And those chairs in the rain looking. Just inflict more punishment. Could I just stay down? I mean. Oh my god. Pile driver onto the chairs! Just so much being thrown at Megumi Kudo here. So much punishment, violence, and again! Again, Kudo kicks out. I mean, if you're Sharp Tsuchi, you gotta really be. I mean, digging deep and going, what, what is possible for me to do to this woman to put her away? Oh my god! Sharp Tsuchi just spat a fireball straight into the face of Megumi Kudo! Just a huge fireball straight in her face. The Japanese commentators have just reacted with. Hmm, hi. But oh my god, I think. Face is burned. Two. No! Kudo gets the shoulder up. You see the blood, the burns. Just what? More? Another. Oh my god, stiff powerbomb. Straight in the center of the ring. Two. No! We've seen a power bomb onto the barbed wire hell. We've seen three consecutive backdrop drives. We've seen power bomb. We've seen pile drivers. Pile drivers onto steel chairs. We've seen a fireball. We've seen another power bomb. And somehow, some way, Megumi Kudo is still walking, still moving, still fighting. He's superhuman at this point, charging forward with a Larry. Oh, and they both crash into the barbed wire again. But Kudo's in the pin. Two, three. Megumi Kudo pulls out an amazing victory. And she falls onto Shark Tsuchiya after colliding into that barbed wire. And in her retirement match, Kudo leaves victorious. Head held high. What an absolute war. Absolute destruction on display. And Shark Tsuchi was pretty much dominating that entire match. Until right at the end there. The double collision into the barbed wire I think was enough to... Oh, look at her face! You can actually see the bruising and the burning of the skin. Uh, reports were that parts of her clothes actually melted to her skin from that fireball, so, I mean... This is a girl who's risked her body, her career, her life for FMW. And she gets to go out on top. Gets to go out on her own terms. And what an 
an absolute battle. I mean, the amount of things Kudo went through there is an absolute miracle. She's breathing. And Shark Tsushima threw everything she had. In the end, Kudo emerges victorious, becomes FMW Women's Champion, but I mean, she's about to retire, so she will vacate those belts soon. But one final title reign before she retires. And what a way to go out. She has not moved from that position. I saw her emotional retirement match with Combat Toyota. And they're just carrying Shark out because she can barely move under her own power. Shark Tsuchiya being carried out by Ringside Crew and Kudo. Look at the hair, it's just a it's just a matted mess at this point, isn't it? She tries to stand. I have no idea how she's doing it. And the tears are flowing. Emotional farewell. Much like their last match. Reverie coming back to to raise her hand in victory like she deserves. As the fans applaud, she drops down once again. And there's a face of a woman who's just been through hell and come out on top. They give me kudos type of woman to go down the night circle of hell, beat the shit out of the devil, and take his spot on the throne. overcome with emotion here in, in her farewell match and, and an absolutely incredible one at that. Cementing her sixth title reign in the FMW women's title. And I think with this match definitely cementing her place as one of the greatest women's wrestlers of all time. Maybe one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. I shouldn't have to even put gender in front of it. Just wrestlers period. Certainly a pioneer in deathmatch wrestling. An absolute legend of FMW. The company would never be the same after losing a stalwart like Megumi Kudo. Her hand is raised, and somehow she's on both her feet, despite the bruising, the blood, the burning. Megumi Kudo is victorious. You just hear the crowd. In support. Thanking the fans in Yokohama Arena, thanking everyone around the world. Thanking FMW and I uh, thank her back for all the amazing matches she's put on over the years. As the credits roll on the 8th anniversary show of FMW. And what an amazing end to an amazing career for Megumi Gudo. She left it all in the ring there. And she'll be held onto a stretcher. Leaving the same way she did in a match with the Combat Toyota. It almost looks like a body bag. Which look, I'm, I'm goddamn surprised she isn't leaving in one of those with everything she went through in that match. Like 
And what do we, do we still have more? We can go backstage. We can see what they're doing backstage. And this is an incredible scene here, look at this. See Shinida asking her if she's okay, she says yes. Cleaning the wounds. And like I said last time, you don't know how much Anita cares about people with his promotion. And I think he knows his company won't be the same after Megumi Kudo's gone. But one of the greatest wrestlers ever to step foot in an FMW ring. This is her swan song. The main event of the 8th anniversary show of FNW and it really embodies everything the company was all about at the time. I'm going to need to and Hayabusa. Checking on Kudo. Trying to call her off, trying to clear those wounds to... And you can really tell how much uh, Anita cares at the people in his employ, you know. I think, uh... I don't know what to say, to be honest. But what can you say in a scene like this, you know? It's just raw emotion is what it is, it's just, you can see emotion from Kudo, probably it makes feelings, you know, putting on that match, retiring, you know, saying goodbye to your career, and also the amount of physical pain she's probably in from going through that. You got the emotions from Monita and Hayabusa. You know, Kudo and Hayabusa kind of work together a lot as well. In the heart and soul of FMW, sort of, they were sort of at the forefront of FMW and leading the promotion. And just overcome with emotion is Megumi Kudo.
Even though Nita now crying. As the belts that she that she won in her final match to her sixth reign as champion. Um, you know, the belts that she she helped make really. She sort of gave prestige to those belts and to the women's division in FMW. She was just at the forefront of that. It sort of made women's deathmatch wrestling viable. You know? an outpouring of, of support and of emotion. What was the clicks of the cameras? capturing this. Trainees at the FMW Dojo. Yeah, seeing off Megumi Kudo. Jesus Christ, looks like they're wheeling a corpse into the back of that ambulance. Did the, the announcer say Joshi Prosu, which means women's wrestling? And it's the farewell to Megumi Kudo. It was, it's like she's dead, the, the, the thing up over her head and everything. Thank you and goodbye. He said, to be continued. I do love that. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, that was a, a bizarre match and a really interesting. And I think half of the video was spent uh, not in an actual match. That's interesting. I think next time I want to try and look at rather Joshi that isn't from FMW. I'm thinking of doing uh, a Minami Toyota match. So we'll see how we go with that. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.